Let's say you receive a workbook and it doesn't appear to be formatted in compliance with typical financial modeling standards. For example, the inputs don't appear to be blue and it's very difficult to distinguish links to other sheets, for example, or calculations from each other because all of the font colors are black. There is a great functionality in Macabacus which can assist with this. Just highlight the portion of the worksheet that you would like to apply it to, go up to Visualize, and press Functional Map. We love this one here at CFI. It will now overlay your worksheet with the same colors that you have set up in your auto color settings. So if we just go into Settings and then Configure, then go to Colors, and scrolling down, here's what we have set here at CFI in compliance with our brand. Yours likely differs based on your organization's unique branding. But we can see we have inputs as a nice light blue, partial inputs as a light orange, formulas as black, and worksheet links as green, and so on and so forth. So just taking a look here, we can quickly see right away that here we have actually a link to another sheet. This tab doesn't appear to be particularly necessary in this workbook, so why don't we actually hard code this? Just copy the range and then paste special values. So that's now an input. Then here we have an orange highlighted cell which actually indicates a partial input. These are otherwise very difficult to identify in native Excel, but Macabacus has insisted in this regard. We would expect that for this cell, the previous year's materials expense should be just multiplying by the cell above, but 3% right here is actually hard-coded. So let's just fix that by multiplying by inflation, and then let's just lock in that cell. Now, let's actually just run the visualization again so we can reset it by highlighting the range, going up into visualize, clearing visualization, and then pressing functional map again. Okay, so now we see that we have our inputs here, then the historical periods here are inputs, and then we have our calculations here, and then the subtotals down here. So everything looks to be proper. Let's clear the visualization. We can then delete out the redundant tab that we have over here. Let's just make sure we don't have any further dependents. Highlighting these cells, pressing Control, Alt, Shift, right square bracket, and verifying that we don't have any dependents. We don't, so we can delete out this tab without any issues. Now you may want to end it here, and it's nice to have all the cells as black, or we could actually auto color it. So just highlight the range we would like to auto color. Then you can go up to Format, Color, Auto Color Selection, and boom. Our schedule is formatted in the manner that we would expect. There is a keyboard shortcut for auto color. Control Alt A to auto color selection. So you could use that alternatively. We've just very quickly audited an otherwise difficult to audit schedule. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.